Gaming. I'm with Quick Series. Today, you and I will make a paint tool in Game Maker Studio 2 using GM Edit made by Yellow Afterlife. In a new project, make an object, I called mine Draw. This will hold everything in this tutorial. Set up some variables for width and height, and this will be the resolution of our surface. Head over to GM Edit, reload project, and make sure we can see what we just added. Go back to Game Maker, drag the object in the room so our code will run. Note, I've set my room and width height to the same as the create event in the draw object. Create a surface, I'm going to call mine surf underscore painting. Also add surf underscore painting underscore update, this will be used later. Uh, we need variables for use later in the logic for the painting. We'll use paint active to tell the program when we're painting. Paint width for current, minimum and maximum. And also paint color, which I'll set mine to green for now. Go to Game Maker, select the draw object, and we need to add a step event. This will be for the input and paint logic. Add a draw event. Here we'll draw to the surface. Lastly, add a draw GUI event. Here the surface is drawn to the screen. Alt tab back to GM Edit and reload with Control R. Under the step event, we want to detect if our mouse is active. So we write if mouse check button MB left, which is the constant for left mouse button and then we set paint active equals true. Else if paint active, then set paint active to false. This checks if the paint active is true when the mouse isn't active. Mount to the draw event. This first if statement will be used to reduce the amount of draw calls we make quite a bit. If the surface doesn't exist, please make sure you write and keep surf painting equals surface create. The rest of the video won't have this line corrected, but do keep it. Type surface set target surf painting. Anything we draw now will draw onto this surface. Check if paint active is true. If it is, we want to draw a circle. This is how we paint. So we'll draw a circle at the mouse position with width and color that we previously set. Because we have finished drawing to the surface, we need to reset it by typing surface reset target. Also, we need to set surface painting update to false so it doesn't keep looping. Under draw GUI, check if the surface exists, then write draw surface surf painting 00. This will draw the surface surf painting at position 00, which is the top left corner of the screen. One last thing before we run the program, check when paint active is true to set surf painting update to true. This activates the draw call, but it only draws when we're painting. Head back to Game Maker, run the program. Congratulations, you now have a very simple paint tool. Add paint clear equals true in the create event. When our paint tool starts, it will clear the surface. At the draw event, under the paint active, check if paint clear is true. Then draw clear alpha, C black, zero. This makes our whole canvas black with zero alpha. After that, write paint clear equals false. Back to the step event. Under left mouse button check, let's wait for the right mouse button the same way. Except we'll write mouse check button pressed, so it only runs the code once. Here write paint clear equals true and surf painting update equals true. As you can see here, each time I right click, it erases the canvas nicely. Let's add some color variants to our paintbrush by using enum. We'll call it eColor and add red, green, and blue, which represent 0, 1, and 2. Now we'll make a DS list to hold those color values. We'll call the list vColor and write vColor equals DS list create. Underneath, to fill out the first entry, we write V color, left bracket, vertical pipe, zero, right bracket, equals make color IGB, 25500, which is 100% red, 0% green, 0% blue. To make things easier, we'll make use of the enum by putting in E color dot red instead of zero. They equal the same value, but one is easier to read in code. Move this whole block of code above the paint memory because we want to make use of the enum we made. Set paint color to ecolor.red. Copy and paste the color list entry two times. Replace the index of the second with ecolor.green and the third with ecolor.blue. 
You can use any reference to color you want, such as the game maker constant C underscore blue, or make color HSV. For green, we'll make use of that. We'll put make color HSV 120, 255, 255. I think that's a greenish color. We'll find out soon. Change the paint color to ecolor.green just to see. Head over to the draw event where we'll be drawing the circle. We need to update our paint color to fit with our new color scheme. So paint color now refers to the index in the V color list. So we write for each V color, left bracket, vertical pipe, paint color, right bracket. Make sure to get both references. Okay, so the color is more of an aqua, but that's all right. It didn't throw any errors, which means our new color system's working nicely. You don't have to change the color green to aqua like I did, but it's an example of what you can do with enums. In the step event, remove surf painting update from the right click. After paint active, add an or paint clear check. Here we'll make the mouse wheel change the paint color. Add a check for mouse wheel up and down. Under mouse wheel up, write paint color plus equals one. This will add one to the current paint color each time the mouse wheel is scrolled up. Under mouse wheel down, write paint color minus equal one, making the color change in the opposite direction. At the end of enum e color, add size. To prevent paint color going over the maximum, we write paint color equals in brackets paint color plus one mod e color dot size. I also want to prevent paint color going below zero. If paint color less than zero, then paint color plus equals e color dot size. Awesome. Now we can change colors of the mouse wheel. To save some time, I went ahead and added a few more colors, both in the enums and the color value list. You may be wondering how I added colors only in the create event and it worked without changing the logic. Ecolor.size affects our maximum and minimum value checks. As we add more colors in the enum, as long as the size is at the end, it will always be the current color count. Paint width is performed similar to paint color. If we add an if keyboard check for both up and down arrows. For keyboard up, we add paint width plus equals 0.2. This makes the paintbrush larger. And for paint keyboard down, paint width minus equals 0.2. This makes the brush smaller. Again, we don't want to go over our maximum or minimum, so we write if paint width greater than paint width max, then paint width equals paint width max. Copy that and paste that under keyboard check down. Change the greater than to less than and max to minimum. Look at that, now we can change the width of that brush. What if we wanted to save the picture? One quick way is to write, if keyboard check pressed VK enter, if surface exists, surf painting, surface save, surface painting, painting underscore plus string get timer times FPS real plus dot PNG. This will save our surface in local app data with the name painting underscore random numbers dot PNG. To find the file, press the Windows key or search in your folder's address bar. Percentage, local app data, percentage. Once you're there, add backslash paint tool. You should see the file in there. As you can see, it's the same as my painting with alpha. At the moment, it's a bit hard to judge where we're going to paint. So let's make a paint crosshair, or in this case, a paint circle outline. Copy our current draw circle color, paste it in the GUI draw event under the drawn surface. Make sure you change the last boolean from false to true. This should draw an outline of where you're going to paint. Link in description for this tutorial file with a few extra additions that will be commented. If you need any help, comment below or join the Discord. Good luck with all your projects. I'm WizQuickSeries. Bye. Awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs>